Sabah, hi everybody, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're doing a charging speed test. We're gonna be putting the S20 Ultra versus the V60 ThinQ. Both of these devices have a 5,000 milliamp battery and both include a 25 watt charger in the box. Which one will go faster and which one will actually keep temperatures under control? This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and always make sure you hit that bell icon so that you always know whenever we have new videos on the channel. So the scenario for today's video is going to be pretty simple. We forgot to charge our device overnight, we didn't have it plugged in, we woke up in the morning and the device battery is dead. Meaning you couldn't turn it on, you have to plug it in. Um, and I did this exact same thing on both devices. I allowed them to get to the point where they both shut themselves down. I did not turn them off when I saw 1%. Whatever the device default setting is to turn off, that's what I'd allow both of these devices to do. So to start it off, obviously, both of these devices are gonna be charged up with their own chargers that came with them in the box. Both of them are using a 25 watt charger. Again, one is a quick charge 4.0 and one is basically Samsung's adaptive fast charging, which is again rated to be at a 25 watt charging. I do understand that Samsung does offer a 45 watt charger that is available to purchase, but it's a separate purchase and it's also available as an extra. So most of us are gonna purchase a device. We're not gonna be purchasing it with the additional charger. So that's the experience we're comparing. Two devices with a 5,000 milliamp battery and two devices with 25 watt chargers out of the box. So we're gonna start it off and of course we're gonna check the interval uh, information. We'll see what we have as far as thermals and of course percentages on the battery. So we started off again by plugging both of them and I started the timer for you guys right there on the screen and we did, went ahead and checked at the five minute mark. Now what we see here essentially is at the five minute mark, uh, the Samsung device is running about 10% battery and of course uh, LG is running at about 11% and the thermals are about 78 degrees for LG and 82 degrees for the Samsung device. Nothing too bad, this is roughly decent, but they are definitely able to charge quite quickly about 10% roughly each at about five minutes. Now from there, I jumped over to a 20 minute charge. Again, the device did not turn on and I'm not turning them on, mostly because there are some devices on the market that do automatically turn themselves on. Um, for the LG, we went up to 89 degrees as far as the temperature with a 36% battery charge. Now, Samsung is starting to take a lead a little bit ahead here. We went up to 89 degrees as well for the temperature, but 40% on the battery. At the 30 minute mark, which is roughly what we would want to be able to see here, is can we charge at least half of the battery? And sure enough, uh, basically 51% for LG and about 59% for Samsung, both running at about 89 to 91 degrees. So those are gonna be the highest temperatures as that's basically the fastest charging uh, timing for the actual devices. Now, when we jump over to the 45 minute mark, we'll notice that the temperature is starting to drop down, uh, but percentages wise, we went up to 68 for LG, 85 for Samsung, at about 89 to 91 per degrees temperatures. And we're starting to see that the temperatures are dropping as the charging speeds drops with it. At the one hour mark, we noticed that uh, LG is at about 81% with 85 degrees at the temperature. Samsung went up to 96% and at 83%. So temperatures dropped a lot more both on Samsung and LG, but we're looking like we're pretty close to hitting 100% on Samsung. When we got to the about an hour and five minute mark, I noticed obviously that the Samsung S20 Ultra did hit 100% and I went ahead and hit that little marker there so that we can capture it for the video. Uh, so roughly about an hour with the 25 watt charger from dead to 100%. Keep in mind that the device did not turn on. So it's still off and at this point, all I have to do obviously is just turn it on. And if we give a little bit more time to see basically where does the LG land, Overall, I noticed that it took about an hour and 43 minutes for the LG device to go to 100%, again, using the built-in charger. And that's mostly because even though it does a lot better on the charging initially, it does slow down quite a bit. All in all, what we saw here essentially is that both of these devices charge very fast. I'm not trying to show that one is better than the other, uh, but I realized that I didn't do a speed test for the S20 Ultra when I got it. And of course, since I have the V60, I wanted to do a comparison between the two. Uh, both of them have massive batteries. Both of them can charge half of that battery at least in 30 minutes with the, uh, the technology that they're using with their own batteries in here. 
Uh, does it make sense to jump over to the 45 watt charger for the S20 Ultra? Personally, I would probably say not really, mostly because of the fact that in an hour and five minutes, you can charge it to 100%, so I feel like it's still fast enough. Unless you want to be able to get that timing under an hour, I feel like the 45 watt charger wouldn't benefit you much beyond the 30, uh, 30 minute charge anyways, because that's when the charging speed starts to slow down. Uh, the surprising factor obviously is that obviously you know, an hour and five minutes for the Samsung and about an hour and 45, 43 minutes for the LG device. Uh, both of them kept really good thermals. We didn't once hit over 100 degrees, which is definitely very nice. So 93 was roughly the highest we got. And for me, that's actually pretty good. Good battery life, uh, pretty fast charging speeds. Although it does take about an hour and 43 minutes to go to 100%. That last, I would say roughly after we crossed about like the 60 minute, uh, like the 45 minute uh, mark, the battery charging speed on the LG drops dramatically. I mean, it, it matches the temperature, but it is again giving you the best possible battery life and experience with the device. You shouldn't have any problems if your battery is dead within 30 minutes to get 50%. So 2,500 milliamp, uh, 2500 milliamp uh, charge on your device in 30 minutes on both of these devices. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. Uh, I realize that Samsung has a faster option for the S20 Ultra, but it, they don't include it in the box and that's an additional purchase. So that's why I didn't do a comparison there. But I can say that obviously there is a benefit. Is it worth the extra money? I'm not sure. I'll let you guys decide for that. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video.